And we're back. Hey, how's it going? Uh, hope you've had a good however long it's been since you also watched watch the last of watch video. Yeah, starting off great. Um, <laughs> it's been a bit of a day for me. Uh, I apologize. I'm a little stuffy. Um, again, season change. I don't have that bad of allergies, but uh, they do get to me a bit, so I, I apologize if my uh, my voice sounds weird. I'm trying, I promise. I, I may take some more hydration breaks as normal uh, to make sure I don't die. You know, just drink water. It's good for you. Anywho, speaking of water, we're under it. We're in the ocean here in Rapture. Um, truth be told, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Uh, they got a shotgun, though. That's pretty cool. We get a shotgun. Hold on. I want to do a quick ammo count, real quick, just like to, to take take a little inventory. All right, so we got we got our pistol. Don't ever don't ever mention the wrench to me, brother. Like I I know you don't need to remind me. I want to load the explosive buck. I need to start using the actual like real ammo. Um, give me the frag grenades. Well, I only have three of them, but yeah, um, that's the camera. Give me the napalm on this bad boy. And then last, but certainly not least, the crossbow. Just, like, reload it. I like the steel tip bolts. They slap pretty hard. And then keep the, the trusty wrench out, you know? Even in the book of lies, sometimes you find truth. There is indeed a season for all things. And now that I see you flesh to flesh and blood to blood, I know I cannot raise my hand against you. But know this. You are my greatest disappointment. Does your master hear me? Atlas, you can kill me, but you will never have my city. My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy. So that confirms my suspicions that I am Andrew Ryan's son. Um, Ryan set the core to self-destruct. This is different than what you did. He's got a mind to take down the whole damn city. Get in there and whack the chunk for the whole joint blows. I mean, okay, hear me out, right? He already set the city to self-destruct. What does me killing him accomplish at that point? It's already, I gotta stop it, right? Like... Yeah, I probably should. He's kind of a, a, a weirdo, and, uh, you know, that's my whole goal currently, is to to end him. But, like, killing him isn't going to stop the self-destruct. I'm going to have to do something else for that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What if instead I went up and talked to him, and he was like, yo, I will stop blowing up the city if we, like, come to an agreement? Did you ever consider that one Atlas? Again, he killed Atlas's family, his wife and kids, so it's a little biased. But we've been over that. So yeah, now I'm absolutely certain. Um, even during his speech, I was like, "All right, yeah, I'm his, I'm his kid, right? Like, come on." Um, and then he just went out and said it, which is not a thing I was expecting to happen. I'd be a little more concerned about the city blowing up if they gave me like a timer. Um, however, they didn't, so I'm just gonna take my sweet time and look around, see what's going on around here. You know, um, we got we got shock bolt at the ready. That's a good one. Let's set up the U invent. Uh, what's going on here? First, we gotta gotta get some better prices, you know. Get some better price. I don't really understand how hacking the U invent makes it cost less materials. Like, is it scalping materials when you use it? That's kind of messed up. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that uh, that unheard of here in this uh, in this godforsaken realm. Can't really make a lot, huh? Um, yeah, electric. I mean, might as well. Oh, I don't even. I can't even carry those. Probably should have checked, huh? I don't want to swap anything in the gene bank. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, I guess I did need to go up. However, I want these things. Oh well, I bought a, a med kit and there was one right there. Should have looked around. <laughs> um, that's the napalm. Is it gonna let me through here? Nope. I guess I do need to go up here. I just missed something. Is there like a, a switch I need to hit? All right, well, look, modern modern video games say follow the light. That's modern video game design, so just follow the lights. See, there are lights over here. That probably means I gotta crouch in and go through this way, huh? Um, 
Okay, I can barely see. I apologize. Get out of here. Ooh, you could have used a uh, tele... Ow, Jesus. Okay, I don't like that. Um, let me just pick up all this stuff real quick, though. What is going on here? Excuse me? I see. Um. So is that boy me? Cause uh, l l let's have a little talk here, Atlas. Um, I know your catchphrase. It's right here. It's right here. I'm gonna slap this Eve hypo around. Okay. Um. Let me let me listen to this other one before we start unpacking this. Sorry, I just needed a moment to kind of comprehend. I'm having, I need to listen to that that second one again. I, there, there was a lot going on. I'm very sorry. Um, would it be under? It wouldn't be under Hephaestus, right? Goals, messages, help. I mean, is it? Oh, it is under Hephaestus, I guess. Advanced deployment, lot 111, Dr. Sujong, client Fontaine Futuristics. Baby is now a year old, weighs 58 pounds. This is gross musculature of a fit 19 year old. The results are disappointing, but within expected tolerances. Okay, so Dr. Sushong here was doing mind control experiments with the whole would you kindly stuff. Learn that from the other audio log. I am being controlled to do everything Atlas is telling me to currently do. Because he uses, that's his catchphrase. That's literally what he's been doing since freaking moment one. All right, I've been played, I've been had. This one I'm having a little bit of trouble going through though. Um, baby is now a year old, weighs 58 pounds. The thing is, right, It. my initial reaction to this is that like, did they just wipe the memory of a 19 year, or I guess an 18 year old at the time and they're rewriting it, so he now calls it a quote-unquote baby, right? Because it's had, like, a year of re-mental development. But, like, 58 pounds? 18? 58 pounds? That doesn't add up, brother. That that weight doesn't add up. So are they, like, growing? I guess possesses gross muscul musculature of a fit 19-year-old. So is this, like... Are they growing people? Because I guess just because it, it possesses the this is like the, the build. Right? Am I am I am I am I correct in that? So it's like the, the build of average 19 year old. But it's a year old and weighs 58 pounds. God, I don't I don't know enough about development to, to comment on this. Um other than I hate it. <laughs> Congratulations. I hate it. I'm mostly just pissed that Atlas is being a dick, man. Like, if you had just talked to me, leveled with me, been like, hey man, this, uh, you, you know, maybe, maybe it would have been different if he was like, hey, you're, you're Andrew Ryan's son. The assassin has overcome my final defense, and now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. Which are clearly false. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. And then this place. 
was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man. Something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill? Or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. Look, Mr. Ryan, we don't agree on a lot of things. Um, I just want to get this to get my, my point out here before I walk through and he, he spiels at me again. He monologues at me. I really don't like a lot of stuff that you've done here. However, I do feel very personally attacked. Um, I don't know if I can go against what Atlas is telling me. I assume what's probably going to happen is I'm going to go in and be like, what's going on? And he's going to be like, you're a loser. You've been brainwashed. Yada, yada. You need to turn on Atlas. And Atlas is going to be like, snap his neck, would you kindly? And then I'm going to like lose control and do it, right? That's that's what I'm, that's what's going to happen here. I played enough video games. I know how this is going to go down. Um, however, assuming I do have free will, though, I'd be super down to join your side at this point because uh, I'm pretty pissed at Atlas right now. I thought we were homies. Right? Like, again, Atlas, if you had come at me with, like, yo, this Andrew Ryan guy, he's doing some fucked up stuff under the ocean. That shit is already scary enough as is, and he's doing some worse shit down there. We gotta stop him. I'd have heard him out. Hello. Oh, do I just... Oh, stop. okay. Would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly yep. find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit. Would you kindly? Stand. Would you kindly? Run. Stop. Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! What do you think was going to happen here, brother? A man chooses! God, this is awful, dude. Fuck. Obey! Oh. Hurry now! Grab Ryan's genetic key! Now would you kindly put it in that goddamn machine? <laughs> I love the, the perfect timing on, hey, if you're stuck, just press H. You'll get a hint. This will give you a hint. The, the hints don't say, would you kindly? Oh, no active goal, by the way. Nothing I need to do, really, right now. Um, I didn't mean to walk on my father's body there. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Um, I'm very confused by that bit. Because you clearly had the power in this situation, right? You could have just been like, would you kindly fuck off? And I would have had to fuck off. I would have just left, right? But you didn't do that. Um, instead, you made me kill you. Which I'm very confused by. I hope there's like some audio logs here or something that kind of extrapolate and explain why your mindset was that. Uh, director's commentary. This is probably a really cool director's commentary to watch. I'm not going to do it. Again, I'm afraid of spoilers. Um, but I feel like that's the big twist. Right? I've hit the big twist. But still, what if there's another big twist? Who knows? Um, so I'm not going to do it. But that's probably a very interesting one to watch as they probably discuss this entire scene. Which would be super cool. Maybe I'll do that after the playthrough. I'll go and watch through them all. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I kind of want to just let this place blow up. Truth be told. Nice work. 
boyo. Don't call me boyo. Fontaine. The smuggler, right? Okay. Oh, he has a new portrait. Oh, well, um, that's a little sister. Oh, good God. All right, so, um, he just came out the gate swinging, huh? Hey, stop it. Stop it. I'm trying to heal here. I'm trying to reload. It's incredibly rude. Get blasted, by the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh. Whoa. Um, very sorry. My game has crashed. <laughs> Um, huh. Well, this is gonna be a weird one. Um, I'm very sorry for this. However, the problem is, I'm, I'm ending the task now, all right? And the recording's still going. You're at a black screen, I think. I need to rewatch to make sure that's true. I'm relaunching it now. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> um, start to options. No. Uh, I, normally this, if something like this happened in a recording for me, I would just do another take, but like, I'd, <laughs> I'd lose my genuine reaction, you know, I'd lose what the, the, that was the twist, right? Like, I'd lose my reaction to that, so like, I don't want to do another take, but I'm gonna have to replay the bit anyway, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see how this goes down, I'll figure something out, um, very sorry about that, I had no idea the game was just gonna crash there, couldn't, couldn't foresee that one. Many apologies. Hopefully this doesn't make me go through that whole cutscene again. Um, so that's gonna be kind of weird. But I guess I could use that time to kind of speak my thoughts on it. I, su I suppose. I'm not entirely certain. Um, so Fontaine was the one. And I, I, if I do remember correctly, Fontaine, he was the smuggler guy, right? Oh my god, I'm all the way back here, dear lord. Okay, well... Um, I guess let me take this moment to um, double check and make sure that is correct. So as a Neptune's bounty, um, meeting with Fontaine. Here we go. We all come down here. Figured we all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like a, one of us, you know? Like he's worked the day in his life. He says meet him at his fish packing joint at 11. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. Hey, it's not like things could get a lot worse. Surely I thought I had more audio logs on Fontaine. Um, oh, Frank Fontaine. Spent the morning John, with that kraut scientist. She's damaged goods, all right. Just like all those chumps they scraped out of them prison camps. But she's no crackpot. She's gonna make me the kind of scratch that'll have Ryan look like he's running a paper route. She just needs some supplies to get the ball rolling, and 
and a friend to watch up. Okay, yes, I, I'm very sorry, Mr. Mr. Ryan. Um, we've been over this though. I'm just gonna do some quick loot in here while we while we deal with that. So I want to know. Atlas, you can kill me, but you will never have my city. My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy. Yeah, okay. So now we're, we're now we're good again. Um, circus of value. I have so much money. I'm, I'm sorry, for expediency's sake, I'm just gonna buy the stuff I want. And just keep keep getting us back to where we were. Um, again, apologies for that. Couldn't have seen that one coming. Um, hopefully the game doesn't crash again there. That'd be really sad. So... Yeah, shut up, Atlas. I don't, I don't care. We're not friends anymore. Um, you're uninvited to my birthday party. So what I what I really am curious about is how on earth did um, did my character here? He's um, I mean I'm gonna pick these up and I'm not gonna listen to him because we already heard him. I want to know how I became part of uh, part of Doctor Lord's here uh, experiment, right? Like why was Atlas's son brainwashed? How did, or not Alice's son, excuse me, um, Fontaine's son. Font oh my god, dude, the names. Brother. Ryan's. Andrew Ryan. Oh my god, my brain is so scrambled. Maybe I'm part of the experiment, dude. How? It oh, because he was an illegitimate son. That's right. No, because Ryan didn't know about me. Um, he slept with that one lady. I see now. The but then, like, why do they need my, my genetic code face. for the bathospheres? I guess. And now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man, something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. Very sorry, I really don't want to witness this scene again. It's pretty horrific, but it is very cool. So you know what? I'm just gonna let it run again. Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit. Would you kindly? Stand, would you kindly? Run! Stop! Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! Oh my god, it's so brutal, man. Oh, 
Obey! Yep, there we go. I'm normally not a squeamish person when it comes to like. It's shut up, loser. I'm not really a squeamish person when it comes to blood and gore. Um. For the most part. However, just like. I don't know, man. Maybe. At least I, I thought I wasn't. But maybe I am. Maybe I'm starting to learn. Because, like, moments like those, where it's, like, all drawn out like that and slow. Oh, my God. It, it really messes with me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Ooh, I'm Fontaine the whole time. Blue, blue, blue. Um, let me actually get good weapons ready. Now, one thing I do want to know, and I'm not going to look up, at least until I've beaten the game, but are Atlas and Fontaine the same voice actor? Because if so, that's incredible. That man is insanely talented. Oh my god, this episode is a nightmare. Beep boop the headset. <laughs> Please, not like this, man. Oh, it's all come off the rails. I thought I charged you. Okay, well, at least I've got frozen time here to plug it up. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This has been a mess. This whole episode has been just a mess, but you know, that's what you come here for, right? If you came here for professionalism, then I'm very sorry. You came to the wrong place, brother. You came to the wrong location. Um, God, and it's of course it's right after I started getting the thumbnails going too, and I was like, ooh, look at me, I'm so fancy with my thumbnails. <laughs> and then everything goes wrong in the very next time I try to record. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I'm just gonna hack these things. Um, I kinda kind of came to the realization of why on earth am I wasting my time shooting them when I can just zap them once and then make them on my side, you know? Like, excuse me, Mr. Robot, uh, would you kindly work for me now? <laughs> uh, we need to go down, down, our way around. Boop, boop, one more, and the last vertical. Bam! Now get them, fight for me. My, my loyal robots. Just shoot, what are you doing with the wrench? What are you even, who are you even fooling with that friggin' wrench, man? Oh my god, there's so many bots, dude. There's so many friggin' bots. Can you, can you chill? You got enough security bots? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, I wanted the crossbow, truth be told. Okay, I'm pretty sure they just spawn infinitely. Um, I need to just get out, is what I've learned. Can I, can I, can I use this? That's a turret. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is this, is this because I helped out the... Excuse you. Did I die? Hello? 
I, I guess I died? Or maybe I didn't? Maybe that's supposed to happen? Was I fooled by the kids? I'm gonna be so mad if they trapped me. So I was like, I saved you losers. Come on, man, like, why you gotta be like that? This does make a lot of sense for one, for certain things like, you know, oh, just kill the, the little sisters. They're not people, you know? Oh God. Why did I even leave? You have saved many of my little ones. I owe you a debt. While you sleep, I undo some of Fontaine's mental conditioning. His control is no longer complete, but he can still pull some very unpleasant strings. The papers, the race mixes. Well, thank you. Make your mind with many locks and keys. Fontaine has most of those keys. But not all. Su Chan designed your mind, taught Fonte to control you. You might find answers in Su Chan's flat in Mercury Suites. Now, what is? I can hear the splicers out there. Hello. Who's I'm glad he? that you all are okay now. He's the one who saved me. Yeah. You we drawn over here? You got some squids. Squids and kids! Splatoon! Yo! We love Splatoon around here. Anywho, um, I wonder what happens if you harvest the little sisters here. Oh, okay. Um, do I have- do I get my weapons back? I would- I don't want to harm you all, but I need to defend myself when I leave. Dude, there's so many of them. Did I actually save this many? I don't think so. Yeah. Hello. I'm here to assist. Does this door just open for me? Nope, it opens for you. Oh, the little the little kid door. Of course, the little doggy door for children. <laughs> oh, this is funny. The small door with the big door. That's kind of funny. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for showing me the way out. I appreciate that. All right, we got our weapons back. That's what's important to me. So I can take care of these splices. I mean, I don't have to do what you say anymore, right? I says, would you kindly go get stepped on by a big daddy? Yeah, get fucked, idiot. I don't play by your rules. Uh, seems like Mother Goose has been playing around in your egg salad. If you won't dance to that tune, I got others. Code Yellow. Oh, Jesus! I just told your brain to tell your heart to stop beating. Not right off the bat, mind you. The heart's a stubborn muscle, but it ain't that stubborn. What the hell, guy? Once you are free of Fontaine's control, then you can have your revenge. And we can keep my little ones out of his filthy hands. What, I, don't you want me to save more of them? Isn't that kind of the whole, like, if I see more of them, I'm gonna try and save them. Right? I'm not gonna harvest them. It, it, screw you, Atlas. Freaking loser. Dude, I told you, I'm, I'm just saying. The fact that he went by an alias, sus. Insanely sus. Why wouldn't you level, right? I, I made that whole shebang the moment I saw it. <laughs> Oh, that's, that was right click, not left click. Um, zap. And congratulations, would you kindly now work for me? <laughs> um, I heard that, Big Daddy, and I'm a little afraid, truth be told, because I wonder if they are just going to be auto aggro on me forever now. That would be horrible. Um, I would be very, very sad to hear that. However, there's not really a lot I could do about it if that's the case. Um, okay, so I need, like... I don't have another horizontal piece. So how do I how do I how do I work around this? Well, it's easy. You go up and then you go over and then you go How do you work around this one, huh? 
Um, back it up one, back it up one. All right, so you go boom, boom, boom. That doesn't help you. That doesn't do what you want to do at all. So you need to go that there, down. There we go, we got there. Okay, my brain is, is scrambled, I'm very sorry. I, I heard you, sir. Um, again, I have no desire to engage in combat unless you have a possessed little sister, which I would like to free! Come on, dude! Oh my god, man. Oh, get dunked on, by the way? All right, the crossbow, the crossbow's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Big fan of the crossbow to just slap someone like that. So I guess now the, the goal is uh, unscramble my brain. That's a very relatable goal. I mean, not relatable in the sense that, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a, a freaking mind-controlled patsy, right? Like, at least I think so, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of the point, is that you're not certain, right? How can you ever be sure? Um, but I'm fairly confident in this. Um, there, one up, and then one over. Again, use the squiggly one for style. But it's relatable in the sense that, you know, like, oh, we gotta kill Andrew Ryan, and it's kinda like, why? Like, yeah, he's a dick, but again, like, everything happening in Rapture stays in Rapture. It's like Vegas, so why would I care? Um, I would like the health upgrade and the Eve upgrade. Thank you. Very, very important, is what I've learned. Um, is there anything else cool here? Speedy Hacker, Vending Expert. What is Electric Flesh? Eh. I might just save for more health and health and I don't use a lot of plasmids, truth be told. I should use them more, they're really good. But I don't know, man, like uh, the, the guns are real good too. And the freaking wrench is incredible. Like, like why 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 fix what ain't broken? So you root doot 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 doot, I understand. Um, hear me out though. Get hacked. Just get auto hacked. I need to save some time here. Whoa, whoa there, guy! Oh, get him, Big Daddy! Yeah, 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 yeah! Slap him! All right, so let's let's get ready to deal with that Big Daddy and save the little sister there. So we get that ready. Um, oh, let's take some pictures while we're at it. Wartime photographer, don't mind me. Free research. Um, pull out the fragmentation grenades and just start blasting. Three, a four. Um, give me the electric buck. One, two, three, a four. Um, just use the first aid. I accidentally used two, I think, there. I hit the button twice. That's fine. Um, because he's dead. Easy. Where, where are you, child? There you are. Um, be rescued. But you got so many friends you could hang out with. You don't understand. You're gonna love it, alright? You're gonna draw some Splatoon characters. You can you can Adam be chill. Of man his Perhaps there is a plasmid that can grow the spirit. Perhaps in your DNA, the secret lies. I've sent a little one with some goodies to help ease your burden. Thank you. It's very, very nice. Now there was a gatherer's garden right by. There it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much appreciate it. Hello, goodbye. I hope you have a lovely day. Dude, armor shell too? Um, anything else I want to get rid of? I, I, human Inferno is kind of, kind of, who cares? Um, plasma slot, uh, I'm just gonna save. Just gonna save, nothing's really, nothing's really calling to me, truth be told. I could upgrade the zap, and it's not the worst idea, but at the same time, like, I really feel like I need it. How many little sisters are there? So there's only one more. Okay. Easy. Easy money. Um, is that my jump? I, how did I know? I just, I could feel it. I could feel it. I was like, you're fake. You're faking it. You're just, you're positioned too, too well. Too conspicuously for you to be actually dead. I don't know. I, I, I wish I, I just savanted that one out. I could just feel it in my bones. I was like, you're a faker. You're pretending. Also, get slapped. Um, I accidentally hit the, uh, oh, don't run from me, excuse you! Hey, get back here. Get back here. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I freaking thought. We gotta go get our brain unscrambled, um, and then I guess kill Fontaine? Um, again, like, why don't I just leave? 
Well, because he's still got like the keys to my brain, so I definitely want to take care of him, right? That's that's a that's a surefire gotta gotta happen. You know, I can't let a guy live who can just at the at the behest of his whim just go mm, code yellow and then kill me, right? That's pretty that's pretty no bueno. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Um, why am I using the wrench when I could use the crossbow and just dunk on you? Get shot and get killed. You want me to come over there? You want me to put the hammer down? Do it. Do it, coward. Good throw. Uh-huh. Whoa, I have to reload. Excuse me, pardon me. Give me just a moment. And you know what? I'm just gonna style on you. Throw it. Nice one. Do it again. Oh, now you're on fire. Oh no! How could this happen? How could this have happened? How could you have avoided this? Oh my god, guy, this is so unfortunate for you. If only there was some way that you could stop this from happening. Oh, that's a that's a real bummer, man. That's a real, real bummer. Life's a bitch and then you die, let me tell you. Dude, that camera is fast as heck, brother. And now you're mine. I'm just, again, this is auto-hacking for time at this point. Um. I probably could have just blown up the camera, but then it would have gone doo -doo 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 -doo, and I would have had to fight a bunch of robots, and that would have been cool, right? That wouldn't have been cool. I could have just turned it off here, I guess, but whatever. Whatever, too late now. Really digging this crossbow, by the way. Hello? Oh, good God. Um, really? You're gonna shoot the big daddy? Are you fucking insane? Are you actually insane, though? Oh, excuse me. Very sorry. Got him. What was he? Oh, he was buying med kits, yo. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. I'm gonna, yeah, again. Probably shouldn't just be going through all these auto hacks like that, but um, I don't have any more fragmentation grenades. I'll just use the heat-seeking RPGs. Big daddies are the scariest enemies I've fought yet, so um, might as well. Excuse me, um, please perish. Are you dead? Okay, he's dead. Of course there's a freaking mine right there. I, I can't, I can't get to the little sister without going through the mine though. I don't think you understand. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Just, just, just teleport her into your hands. No, no. No, 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 that's too low. That's a reference no one's gonna get. I'm very sorry. Um, I'm not even gonna explain it. Just you, 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 if you know, you know. Um, very sorry. I gotta, I gotta freaking hack this stupid thing if I want those med kits. And the problem is, I do. I need to spend money to make money. Um, no, I need to spend money in general because I didn't realize there was a maximum wallet size. Your wallet's only so big. You can't, you can't be. Um, okay, I gotta actually focus here a little bit. You can't just, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. ooh. Okay, no, there's 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 more of them. There's more vertical pieces. I was like, am I out of vertical pieces? That's kind of whack. Um, but that is just not true. And then one right there. You can only carry so much dough, all right? Might as well spend it. Um, AP rounds, sure, just like spend money. Spend money, use a pistol a little, I don't know. Oh, yo, okay. Crossbow breakage chance. I don't really. I've got plenty of bolts. I'm not concerned about that. Machine gun kickback could be nice. It could be nice. Grenade launcher damage immunity. Eh. I don't use the chemical thrower really. Shotgun rate of fire though. Hear me out. Shotgun rate of fire though. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. All right. So what do we have loaded? Rego buckshot. That's fine. Um. Thanks for the fragmentation grenades. You silly man. Can I go through here? I can. Mr. Coswell? Oh. Hello there, sir. Um He's just he's just all stanced up there, huh? You know, let's let's get the wrench out. This might be wrench lurker territory.
catch up with you soon. Uh, kid. I hope they make it quick. What are you... I do love his use of bizarre words, though. Like, oh, you're, you're busto. Who on earth says busto, brother? Like, really, dude? Alright, so what else we got around here? I feel like I've been here before. Is this, is this the doctor's area? Where um, where Steinman was? Or am I just crazy? Oh, well. Shame I bought all those first aid kits. You just keep bullets in your fridge? You gotta make sure they're nice and cold, right? Like, hello? Oh, uh, thank you, alarm bots. Look, I'm just gonna dunk on you. And what are you gonna do about it? The answer is nothing. You stand no chance. You will never defeat me in wrench warfare. You, you have to run. That's your only option. That's the only thing you can do. Get them, my bots. Get them. Just wrench them. I hate these smoke bombs. You know what? Where are you? Get blasted, by the way. Five, six. Quick reload. A boom. A boom. Got him. I'm very glad that the aim in this game is very forgiving because I'm terrible at shooters, and I would, that was something I was genuinely very concerned about when I started playing this game. So I was like, I know it's a shooter, and holy hell, am I terrible at shooters? I'm so bad at them. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to do that. Um, unfortunately, you got out of the water by the time I switched to the correct plasmid, so instead I'm just gonna beat you to death because you can't hope to defeat me in wrench warfare. I'm too good. I'm too. I'm too strong. Undefeated. How did all the, what, is, what is even going on here, dude? Oh, hey there, hey there, guy. I mean, dying in the bathtub's not that bad, right? Like, at least you're comfy, I think. I mean, I guess it could be pretty horrific, but all things considered, it's not that... What is this bathroom? Hold on, wait a minute. Okay, now this is a pretty crazy room, right? This is a nice, fancy room with your big old bed and whatnot. Okay, this fucking bathroom is massive. What is all of this space here? For your tiny little toilet in the corner over here, obviously you've got the obscuring wall for your bathtub, all right? I get this, right? But like, you've got all of this empty space, and then you just tucked right in the corner here, just this little toilet right here, like, bruh. You could have done better with this. I'm just saying, there was, a, there was a better way to manage that. Surely, I'm not an architect, I'm not an engineer. I'm none of those things. I'm nowhere near intelligent enough. You can probably tell just by watching me play this freaking game. But there had to have been a better solution. I refuse to believe otherwise. Anywho. <laughs> Moving on. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I hear you, sir. Or, and or madam. Get bonked? Heavy bonk energy? You gonna stop running, huh? Oh, he turned around to bonk back. Well, got him. I ran into the fire. Um, very, very high level strategy. Oh, Lord. All right. Um, ooh. Oh, I can't hack this one. Oh, that's probably where I need to go, huh? Dude, why are there so freaking many of you? Where'd you all come from? Don't brute, 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 brute me. That's just very rude. I want to hack you. That's just this is super not cool, man. What if instead you looked at enemy splicers and sent robots at them? Just a thought, just a consideration, mm, would you kindly? <laughs> now this does make a lot of sense because I do remember, like, like, that is dredged up memories for me of people, like, joking about would you kindly, and I never understood it. I never had any idea, and I just, it was just kind of like I nodded along. I was like, haha, yeah, I get the reference, never understood it. Now I get the reference. I'm only, like, a decade late, <laughs> but I get the reference, you know? I'm part of the Cool Kids Club now, the Bioshock Club. Where's my Bioshock uh, certificate? My membership card. What do you mean squatter? I just walked in here. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay, um, I hate these little zap things, right? I hate them with a passion. However, however, oh, that's the wrong side. So you gotta you gotta be a little careful with them. There we go. Ow. What are you doing? What are you doing there? Uh huh. I'm the amateur as, as you, you scream from getting blasted full of lead. Oh no, I've never seen this smoke bomb tech before. You're the first time anyone's done that. 
Okay, the pistol is not doing it. All right, look, hear me out. What if instead we just wrench him, though? Like, the wrench just does way more work. Um, I can't see anything with all the particle of, with all the, the effects going on. But we got there, it's fine. <laughs> oh, my lord. Hey, can the security stop? I would really like to not listen to the alarm anymore. That'd be cool. Now, you may be saying, uh, full on, if you didn't want to listen to the alarm, you could have destroyed the camera instead of hacking it and turning it on your side and thus causing the alarm to go off every single time it spots an enemy splicer. To which I say, yeah, but like, hear me out though, hacking's fun. The pipe mini game is fun. It's just good old fun, good old fashioned fun. Um, burn through a lot of pistol rounds. Let's use the anti-personnel ones because we're fighting a lot of splicers. And you know what, let's just go ahead and load it on the machine gun as well. Cause I mean like, when else am I gonna fight a human being? You know, like it's always gonna be splicers, right? Oops, it's all splicers. Dude, that guy got it rough. Holy hell. Poor man. Oh, you word. Okay, well. I cannot see because I am blind. Um, but we got there. She uh, she got some licks in, though. No no denying that. No denying that. Wasn't able to call that one out like, uh, like the last lady sitting on the ground with a machine gun in a conspicuous area. But, you know, you can't be winners at all of them, right? You win some, you lose some. Okay, they can't all be, they can't all be dubs. Otherwise, there'd be no fun in life, right? If you just won everything, there'd be no challenge. Okay, I mean, like, come on, guy. What do you even... <laughs> I don't know why, but something about as you're dying breath, you're just like, shit. It's really funny to me. Yeah, whatever, dude. Busto again! Why a guy like Fontaine would waste his time with that spooky crowd when he could be getting the gravy from any dish he chooses is beyond the understanding of this paparazzi. Even reset the door code to 5744. 5744. 5744. Let's see if I remember that. Oh my god, we're getting the double audio logs again. I'm very sorry. Um, I wish I knew how to fix this, but I don't, unfortunately. This is just... Whoa, what the heck was that? Look at my home. Torn apart by Fontaine's empty. Aww. Why? But I am sure there is answer in Sir Charles' flat. You will not believe me, but there was a time when this was also beautiful. It's really sad, actually. They tore apart her home just cuz. Like, that's super fucked up, man. Tenemom didn't even do anything to you until she helped me out, to my knowledge. We were just like, get fucked, idiot. Whoa, whoa, all right, all right. Look, I am trying to rob her home. That's fair. She should have a security system in place. That's completely fair. What if I just hold it up, right? Like, yeah, I took a little damage, but whatever. Um, again, get auto-hacked. I don't have patience for saves anymore. Um, I'm running a little low on the auto-hacks, though. I need to use incendiary bolts for the crossbow. That's the new goal. Use incendiary bolts because I keep running into them and I'm maxed out, so I can't use them. So that's what we're gonna. That's what's on the docket next. Good old crossbow incendiary bolts. Um, there was also a med kit back here in the uh, zap room, as I have to call it, the bathroom or the zap room. And I can just take that and be on my merry. Dude, she even had her own little health station in her bathroom. That's nice. Oh, why did that hurt? Oh, there's barbed wire here. Okay, that's why that hurt. I... I already forgot the door code. <laughs> uh, that's not what I wanted. Um, Five seven four four. Fontaine and his little German bean hole. Why a guy like Fontaine would waste his time with a spooky crowd when he could be getting gravy from any dish he chooses is beyond the understanding of this paparazzi. Even reset the door code to five seven four four. Maybe 
Maybe to be double sure that Beanpo don't spout up in his yard again. <laughs> I love how people talk, man. I don't know why. I love old vernacular. That beanpole doesn't sprout up in his yard again. Like, it's just, I don't know, it, it gets me. All right, so you are at uh, a five and a seven, a four, a four. How did that paparazzi get his door code? That's incredibly terrifying, mind you. Just want to put that out there. That's super scary. I made a place for the children here, but this is you who are their savior. Will you stop here? Or will you deliver them from this terrible city at once? Dude, if I can save the little sisters, I will. I mean, they're kids, right? They didn't deserve this fate that's been put upon them. They didn't ask to be turned into horrible monsters. That's not what they wanted, right? Like, it's super fucked up. So if I can... Root doot 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 doot, I understand. Doot doot doot. Okay, I'm getting real sick of you, brother. I'm getting real friggin' sick of you. So you're gonna become my friend now, congratulations. But yeah, like the, I, I feel like, I don't know, maybe, I am curious to see what like a full Harvest playthrough would be like, because Tenabom's obviously going to, Tenabom, um, is gonna obviously react very, very differently to you, depending on uh, if you harvest or help the little sisters, right? So I am kind of curious as to what your dynamic would be like at that point. If you had been just full, like, give me your Adam, loser. Right? What do you mean, dude? I'm literally, I've got a machine gun turret that just blasted you to smithereens, and it's gonna blast your friend, too. Like, what are you even talking about? Yeah, that's one way to deal with cameras. Just some buckshot, huh? <laughs> That'll do it. Um, no, let's just keep the, no, 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 no. Use the crossbow. You need to get rid of incendiary bolts. I almost switched again, because I was like, but the shotgun, though. No, no, no. The Fontaine was a con man. Um, I am curious what he was. Oh my god, I'm drunk again. God damn it. I am curious what exactly he was conning, because I thought he was smuggling in like Bibles and shit, and now he's worked his way up to here, so I, I am curious how that transition happened. These sad saps. They come to Rapture thinking they're gonna be captains of industry. But they all forget that somebody's gotta scrub the toilets. What an angle they gave me. I hand these mugs a cotton a bowl of soup, and they give me their lives. Who needs an army when I got Fontaine's home for the poor? Okay, so I'm, I'm starting to piece it together, right, how he got his position of power, you know. Because, again, he, he, he makes a very valid point in that, you know, you can't have a utopia for everyone. I, that sounds super edgy now that I think about it, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? Like, he exactly like how he said it, someone's got to scrub the toilets, right? People people got to do the dirty work, you know? Like, we can't, we can't, well, I guess you, know, you could automate it with machines. Yeah, all right, look, this is the freaking 40s, all right? Chill out. Don't be, don't be weird about it. I think it's the 40s, at least. It's old-timey, all right? They don't have machines. Oh, well, they have big daddies. Yeah, but they don't have machines. Big daddies are people, allegedly, I think. I don't know for sure. Anywho, um, there's always going to be grunt work that needs to be done, right? In one way, form, or fashion, and uh, someone's got to do it. So I can definitely see how a lot of people would be like, yo, I'm super hype and jazzed to go to this uh, rapture place where I no longer have to, like, you know, do all the, the shitty stuff in my life. And then they get here and it's like, joke's on you, life's the same everywhere, you got to do shitty stuff here too. And just put that in the gene bag, I don't care about electric flush. Um, mysterious chemical? Can I not just, like, take that? That'd be kind of cool. Um, electric shock again. Really like the, the electric shock. Really does work. Dude, what the fuck is this house you've got, by the way, man? Like, holy hell. But I can definitely see how it'd be very easy to take advantage of those people. Because, you know, it... I don't know this for certain, but I imagine that a very easy parallel could be drawn to, like, early migrants to the United States, right? 
Because it's like, oh, it's the land of freedom, right? You can do anything you want. And compared to a lot of places people come from, especially during certain times of, like, say, war or whatnot, um, or political strife, they're right, you know, by comparison, the United States is absolutely a very attractive option. However, um, I imagine that if someone were to prey upon that, it'd be very easy to do so, right? Like, I don't know, and it, I, I, I'm sure it has happened in history, there are famous cases of it. I'm not a history buff, so I can't tell you exactly when, or if it did or didn't, I don't know. But I can just imagine that that would be a very common thing. Do I need to go back down? Why'd you even come up here? Where am I going? Floor. Why'd I even come up here? I just came up here just cuz? Just to take a gander at his place? Like, what the heck, man? Did I get all the- I got all the little sisters. Perfect. I'm pretty sure I've gotten all the little sisters so far. So I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any. Because at this point, I'm committed, right? Like, I don't want to turn back at this point. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Follow your waypoint. It will show you the way. Here we go. I don't care. This is so fucked up, man. Like, <sighs> why? Mm. And this is this is again. I've I've touched on this many times, but these are the type of people that I feel like would predominantly come to Rapture. People like that dude, who's like, I want to program little kids to be, you know, sleeper agent slaves, right? Like, what? What are you talking? At? Whoa, fewer materials. Yo, no, that's pretty sweet. Um. So we're in the gene bank for now, and we'll get some more slots for that here in a moment. Fontaine to become some kind of boogeyman in Rapture. That myth gives him power. But peel back Flim Flam and a humbug, he's just another con man. And like <laughs> all con men, he worries he'll end up on the wrong side of Grieft. That's why he commissioned a lot of 192. Ooh. Ooh. The antidote to the mental control plasmid. Fontaine said I better not tell anybody about the antidote. Not even Tenenbaum. And Su Chong is inclined to listen. All those years we thought we were. Oh my god, I don't need to listen to this one again, dude. Okay. Um. I don't think this is what I need here. <laughs> I'm over here looking at this chalkboard like, does this tell me what I need to get? Um, probably not. Me to go here? Not a person. He juke a box. Ready to play whatever tune Fontaine wants to hear. Oops. Now hold there for a moment. Oh, okay, there we go. There is that drug again. Did we not see that at Fontaine's flat? We'll find some at Su Chang's lab as well. Well, why couldn't I just take it from Fontaine's flat? Why wouldn't I just go back there and take it, right? Current thing. Your sample can be found at the top. Yeah, okay, I am going back there. Alright, now we go all the way back. Oh, Jesus. I have a very hard time believing you. Um, Fontaine, in literally any capacity. <laughs> if you are like, oh, well, I'm just gonna mind control people 
to do whatever I want. Oh, but I, I feel empathy? Yeah, right, whatever. Shut the hell up, you fucking psycho. Don't even, don't even play. Like, what do you think you're doing, man? What do you even think you're doing? Right, give me your, your cure. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna listen to you no more. What are you gonna do about that one, huh? Ooh, joke's on you. I don't have to, my heart's not gonna stop anymore. A yoink? Do I just drink it? Oh, good God. Yes, the compound is taking off. The effects of the mental suggestion are now gone, but there will certainly be side effects. Got some side effects. Your plasma has become unstable and you're temporarily unable to choose which one you have equipped. Okay, um, so I have security bullseye now. Well, good thing I like to use um, weapons. Oh my god, of course. I missed. I'm a bot. Now go find Su Chang's lab in Artemis Suite. In there, no doubt there will be more of this lot 192. Now I have to go back? Like, come on. Oh, all right, we got Winter Blast now. Um, Winter Blast 3, I don't even have that one, yo. So you can give me plasmids I don't even own. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna wrench you now. You're low. I'm just gonna hit you with the wrench. Get wrenched, idiot. And now your security bot doesn't listen to you no more. <laughs> okay, this crossbow's been doing work for me. I'm, I, I don't think I ever shit-talked it, but if I did, I apologize, crossbow. You've been doing some good stuff for me. Give me a moment, I'll take a quick hydration break. I ain't afraid of no friggin' ghosts, no Fontaines. I heard that, mister. Oh, all right, what do we have now? Target dummy, um, okay. Hello, sir. Um, I'm just gonna make my way downtown, I guess. Um, I heard that RPG turret, and you know what? If I don't acknowledge it, it can't hurt me. That's how that works, I think. Why is it taking me down here? I thought I needed to go back to Doctor's place. Follow the streets of Apollo Square. Oh, in his lab, not in his home. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, right? What? This is my territory. Oh, that did like no damage to you? Hello? Alright, well that one did. I don't know why the first few did like nothing. It's kind of messed up. Anyone else? Anyone else ready to get incendiary bolted? Alright, what's the plasma now? Yo, Electro Bolt 3. That's pretty hype. That's pretty sweet. I hear you, Mr. Big Daddy. Um, I'm very sorry. There are no more little sisters. I apologize greatly for it. Um, why did I lose all my health from? Damn. Got slapped by something. Just a quick med kit and then we're good to go. That's why they make med kits, right? That's why there's seven of them. Um, however, even with all the technical difficulties, I'm gonna see if maybe I can do something about that. I don't know. We'll 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 tr we'll figure that out when when it comes to it. Um, I might just upload it as is because it's kind of funny. I don't know. Anywho, um, I think this is where I'm gonna end the episode. Um, thank you again very much for watching. And as always, there is a link in the description to the Steam page if you want to pick up the game for yourself. Um, yeah, so I hope you have a great rest of your day and your night and whatever else it may be. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye bye